All right, I'm uh, going to try to get this piece going again, and um, I'm just setting the profile for the uh, top of the headdress here with that uh, piece of clay there. That's just going to... Oh, I got the guy next door building a shed <laughs> right outside my window, in fact. Time to play with some clay. I took some fondue sticks and I've uh, dipped it in um, Elmer's glue and uh, it's going to act as the, the arrows in his uh, uh, quiver. And uh, I'm just waiting for that to dry. And then I can uh, do something with that. What this is, is the end of the uh, scabbard. Um, and it makes sense that that would be the weapon they carry with him. Because it would be a silent weapon. And he is a scout. And he doesn't want to bring a lot of attention to himself, so he would have used something that would uh, make hardly any noise at all, and that would be the bow and arrow. Okay, I'm going to start working on his body and uh, his arms and try to get that going. I turned off one of my lamps because I can see the shadows a little bit better this way. I want the six pack, but I don't want it so pronounced, so I'm going to reduce it down just a little bit. So as you can see, I'm blending in the muscles as much, best I can. I want the anatomy there, but uh, these people weren't muscle builders. They
I'm debating on whether to put fur texture in or just leave it rough. I kind of like it rough because it kind of gives a feeling of movement. And, uh, but I don't know. If I put a lot of fur texture in, it's going to cost a lot to cast it. And, uh, I'm trying to avoid making this a very expensive piece. Now the wolf had, that was killed in the winter time, would have had a lot of fur up on the neck and the head. Yeah, I'm going to put the strap on for his scabbard, bow scabbard, and I'm going to take the uh, tie off for a second to do that. Uh, what did I do? Okay, there we go. And I got to go back there with it. Okay, I gotta work on that part of the scabbard here. Okay, the one thing I need to do is I need to line up the bow scabbard. I need to have the uh, bow coming out of the uh, top part of it. The uh, arrows are in. And uh, I'm gonna have to do some looking at uh, what bow scabbards look like. It's been a long time since I've made one, so I'm gonna have to re re uh generate my brain on exactly what they look like um i'm doing the long loin cloth next uh and stuff like that uh i've increased the uh, length of the uh robe and uh, actually increased it a little bit more over his arm there and uh but i'm i'm liking the way this is turning out uh, so far and uh, we'll see how this continues. All right, I'll be here tomorrow. And uh, I don't know if I'll be here Wednesday. I don't know. But I won't be here Thursday. That's Thanksgiving. And uh, I'll have to decide whether I'll be here Friday. Next week, uh, we'll be going to the front boundary to uh, pour the uh, bronze of uh, Night Sentinel. The Sentinel, I think it is called. And I'll put a picture of it here. Up. It's finally in bronze. It, we took it in March into the foundry. And it's finally being cast. That's the way it is with the foundries now. It's not that they're not their fault. It's just that so many foundries have closed because of COVID and this whole debacle with that. Uh, that uh, they're taking on more people than they used to take on. And so it uh, takes longer to get bronzes out. All right, everybody, have a great night, and I'll see you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video 
it will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.